going on, AJ Reacts 2 family? It's your boy, AJ, and I'm back again. I'm doing a tier list this time. I, I don't think I've ever done a tier list by myself on the channel, but it's time to broaden my scope. It's time to get out there and, you know, do my thing. So um, this is going to be an anime uh, tier list, and this is very exciting for me because I love anime. I'm really into it. Um, over the past couple of years, I've really gotten into it, seen a lot of series, maybe not a lot, but like I've seen a few series and I've been really getting into the films. I'm going to do a tier list of uh, anime films that, uh, you know, I've seen and I'm really excited for that. I want to watch a few more films to actually, you know, sit down and do the tier list. But yeah, like this is going to be really exciting for me and, you know, it's going to be fun. I, I don't have a whole lot of anime subscribers I, I know that my audience isn't huge on anime but i'm trying to you know build on my anime audience a little bit too so if you guys are into anime or thinking about getting into anime subscribe to my channel and uh yeah let's talk about it uh head down to the comments and, and let's talk about some anime i love it so without further ado we're about to get into this so let's go business i'm just gonna kind of talk about um my my tier list my actual tier list and what the categories are so i got amazing great good just okay and nah. so like amazing is obviously amazing shows that you know i really enjoy and then nah is like Nah, not for me. I'm not going to say that it's not for anyone because I know there's an audience for pretty much any anime out there, but not for me. So first up, we're going to start, you know, at the beginning right here. So first up, Assassination Classroom. I, I think I've seen like three episodes of Assassination Classroom and, you know, it's not bad. I read the first manga and, um the first volume of the manga and I enjoyed the manga a lot more than I enjoyed the anime for some reason. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, I, I don't really know what category maybe cause I, I can't really go off of three episodes that well. So I'm going to say, I'm going to say just okay for assassination classroom. But the next one is Attack on Titan. That's a series that I'm actually caught up with. I have one episode that I haven't seen, uh, but I'm actually caught up with Attack on Titan pretty much um, on the fourth season. And it's ending this year. And I think that's one of the reasons why I got into it is because I knew it was ending. It's easier to binge. It's not something I'm going to have to wait a year for another season, two years for another season, because I know this show kind of like takes breaks and takes kind of long breaks when it does in the season. So um, Attack on Titan, it's a great show. But the thing is, I wouldn't put it in amazing because there are a lot of episodes where I'm just kind of like tuning out. Like it feels kind of repetitive, but then like when the action gets going, when it starts, it's amazing. So, um, I, I can't say that it's amazing all the time though. I, I, that's rare for all any anime. So any show to be amazing all the time, maybe, mm, may, maybe, maybe I'll put it in amazing. I'll put it in amazing. Okay. Um, but some of these animes I do enjoy more than uh, Attack on Titan. So moving on to the next anime series, Black Clover. Um, I watched like, I haven't fit caught up with Black Clover. I don't think I will. I think I'm just done with it. I watched maybe like 20 to 30 episodes of Black Clover. And it's not a bad anime whatsoever. It's not bad, but it's just not my cup of tea like it, it i feel like it's missing something i don't know if that's makes sense but it seems a little how do i put this um typical maybe nothing it doesn't really bring anything new to the table for me it feels like um a cross between 
My Hero Academia and Demon Slayer, where it has like that spiritual aspect, but you know, you also have your protagonist, your main protagonist, that's kind of like a weakling and he's got to work himself up. Um, kind of like Naruto as well. Uh, Naruto, like, you know, you start off with this protagonist that is just kind of like a nothing. He's kind of a crybaby, kind of. Um, Asta, I wouldn't, was, is his name Asta? I can't even remember the names. Is uh, I, I apologize if I forget any of the names of these characters. Some of them, some of these series I haven't seen for a while, but yeah, like the main character in Black Clover, he's just kind of annoying. He doesn't seem like a character that I am, you know, really into. So based on that, I would say it's a good anime. And I know there's an audience for it. I know some people are out there. Watch Black Clover. That's what people were telling me. Like, watch Black Clover. It's, it's good. It's good. I don't think I've ever met anybody to say that that show is amazing, though. Uh, moving on, I, I stayed on Black Clover for way too long. Um, so the next one is, what is this? Cowboy Bebop. I'm in the middle of Cowboy Bebop right now, and I'm five episodes in, and it is, it's a decent show. I really enjoy it, and I'm ready to see where the show takes us. I know it's only one season, and then they have a movies, and the movie is actually on my 100 movies list. Um, I actually have a list of 100 movies that I'm going to watch in 2021, and that film is on there. And I wanted to finish the series before I checked out the movie, you know what I'm saying? So, um, I would say Cowboy Bebop and great, because I do think it's a great show so far. I don't know where it's taking us. I'm excited to see it. Uh, my sister-in-law, Alyssa, she actually really enjoys the show. Um, her and her husband watch the show. So um, I'm looking forward to finishing it. And hopefully it'll be an amazing and amazing tier. Maybe I'll do an uh, anime series tier list next year to see where all these shows end up. Um, but next is Demon Slayer. Amazing. Amazing. And I'm going to put it in front of Attack on Titan because I definitely like Demon Slayer more than Attack on Titan. And I'm not like, I, I made a comment earlier about the protagonist being a crybaby. I don't think Tanjiro is a crybaby on this show. I just think he is kind of more of a weakling in the beginning. And then he kind of like earns his stride and like, you know, gets up there to, you know, the status where, you know, we see him at now. Uh, I'm very excited for the movie. I did a trailer reaction for the movie. Uh, it it got taken down. It got blocked. All these reactions are getting blocked. I, I hate it, but I'm very excited for the film to reach the U.S. I'm I'm pumped for that. So next one, it's kind of complicated with this one. Uh, I got a poster back here and everything. I have a whole lot of Dragon Ball Z merch. I love Dragon Ball Z characters i really enjoy the characters but the show itself is kind of difficult to get through i don't know if anybody else feels this way um goku is mia a lot of the beginning of the series and i grew up with this series i watched it a little bit here and there when i when i was a kid and i never like watch it from beginning to end so it's just kind of like watching it now from the beginning, every single episode, there's a lot of filler episodes, a lot of episodes that are uh, like slow moving. The plot is really slow moving and everybody's like, why don't you just watch Dragon Ball Z Kai? And I'm just like, I want to see, you know, what was intended. I don't want to see it edited and cut, but also it's kind of boring. Like, I don't want to say that I hate saying that because I do love Dragon Ball Z, the characters, but the show itself, I'm on season four right now. And I've been on season four for like six months or something like that, watching this episode slowly. But yeah, um, Dragon Ball Z, I would say it really paved the way for a lot of animes though. I want to say amazing, but I just don't love it enough. The show itself enough to say that it was amazing. So I'm going to say great. Next up, Dragon Ball Z or Dragon Ball Super. I love Dragon Ball Super. It really doesn't have a dull moment, and I would definitely put that in amazing. I know people are gonna be like, "Oh, that's blasphemy putting <laughs> Dragon Ball Super above Dragon Ball Z," but 
I don't know. Uh, I just had more fun with the show, you know. And I don't really even know if this is a Dragon Ball Z poster. I mean, it says Dragon Ball Z on it, but it's got Beerus on there. So, I don't know. Uh, next up is Fairy Tale. I watched three episodes of this show. Nah, not for me. I didn't care for it. Um, next is Fire Force. Fire Force, I didn't catch up with, actually. I know it's in season two right now. And I watched the first half of the season. Me and my wife watched the first half of the season, the first one. And it it was good. But I wouldn't say it was great or amazing. I would say it was good. And I enjoy the protagonist. I think he's cool. But, nah, it's just, it's kind of hard to get through for me. So, Fire Force, I would say good. Haiku, or Haiku, Haiku, I'm sorry if I butcher that. Uh, that's the next one on the list. And I'm not big into sports, period. But, like, sports anime, it, it, it's decent. I, I watched a few episodes with my wife on Netflix, and she didn't like it, but I was okay with it. Like, I kept watching a little bit here and there, but, you know, it, it, it's just like, when the main character speaks and like interacts with the other characters it just feels like off something like feels off maybe it's just because it is a sports anime and i'm not used to that but something about it keeps keeps me coming back to watch the next episode but very slowly not something that i want to binge at all so i would say just okay for heiku or haiku uh mob psycho Mob Psycho, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the first season a lot. The second season, I didn't get through. I'm like two or three episodes into the second season. And I've been that way for like some months now. And I just haven't picked it back up. I don't know if I'm going to finish season two of Mob Psycho. I think it's done. I think it got canceled or ended or something. But I'm... I, I Just for the first season, I would say... I would say amazing if it was just the first season, but the second season kind of gets a little messy in the plot line. So I might just go, I think it brought it down to good. I might just say good for that. Yeah. My Hero Academia. That's my favorite anime of all time. So My Hero Academia, I know people are like, uh, <laughs> and I shouldn't care about what people say and what people think. But I know a lot of folks are saying, oh, My Hero is your favorite. Oh, you're so mainstream. You're so, like, uh, new to anime. You don't have any, you know, anime background or whatever. I kind of just started watching it. So, like, maybe two or three years ago, I started getting into it. So, My Hero was what got me into anime. So, I will say that it's amazing. I love the show. And I enjoy the characters, the character development, um, the character arcs. And the movies are amazing. The last movie was my favorite film of 2021 or 2020, my favorite film of 2020. So, you know, just from saying that, just from seeing that, you know, that's it's got to go number one. Uh, next one is Naruto. I really enjoy Naruto and I'm watching it on Netflix, but it has the same thing that Dragon Ball Z has. It's kind of slow at parts it has filler episodes and it's just kind of tough to get through sometimes but i do enjoy the characters a lot i enjoy the action sequences are dope you know like that so i would say that this is great and i would put it under dragon ball z because i think i watch dragon ball z more often and i have like more dragon ball z merchandise and naruto shippuden i haven't seen all of Shippuden, but no, I haven't seen hardly any Shippuden. I'm not even gonna lie. I haven't seen hardly any. I've seen like two or three episodes, and I probably shouldn't have started it without finishing Naruto, but I was getting a little impatient. I was like, what is this all about? You know, I didn't even think about watching Baruto because I know people are like, ah, Baruto sucks. And you know, in the anime community, that's kind of a joke, but. Yeah, um, Naruto Shippuden, it, it's cool. Like, I really enjoy the action. So I will say great, but I haven't seen much of it at all. So I'm going to try to finish Naruto and then 
watch Naruto Shippuden. I know that's a lot of TV to watch. One Piece, I watched one episode, didn't care for it. So, nah, it's not for me. And I know a lot of people are going to be like, yeah, that you suck, bro. You not, don't. Why would you put One Piece at the begin, at the end? You know, it's just not for me. Sailor Moon. I feel like Sailor Moon is a show that has a very niche audience. It's not a bad show at all. Like it's it's actually really good, but I don't even really know how to explain it. It's just Sailor Moon has something a charm to it that is just so amazing, but also, it's extremely repetitive. Like, every episode is basically the same. And I'm in the middle of this series as well. I'm on season... What season am I on? Three? I'm on season three of... And I think that's S. Yeah. Say that, wait. Second season was R. Third season is S. So, I'm on Sailor Moon S right now. And it's good. It's good. I like it. It, again, it's a little hard to get through. <laughs> it's just a little tough to get through because it's so many episodes and they're so repetitive. Um, I think I might do like kind of a Sailor Moon breakdown because I do love the series. I really enjoy it. I don't know why. It's just kind of like one of those cult classics. It's like one of those shows that it has a niche audience and I'm in that little group. <laughs> so I will say amazing and I'm going to put it before. Uh, do I like it more than Dragon Ball Super? Yeah, I like it more than Dragon Ball Super. Yes. So um, it is an amazing. Seven Deadly Sins. I watched three episodes of that. I try to give each ep each show like three episodes to kind of get into it. And yeah, it's not for me. Seven Deadly Sins. Nope. No Guns Life. I, I know this is an anime that not a whole lot of people know about. And I just saw it on Funimation. I thought it looked interesting. And it is interesting. And I would say it's a good anime from what I've seen of it. I'm on episode three. Oops. Not just okay. It's good. Um, yeah, No Guns Life. It, it's decent from what I've seen of it. It doesn't seem like a groundbreaking anime anime or anything. But it uh, it's, it's cool. And last but not least, Yu Yu Hakusho. I I watched a little bit when I was a kid, but that's really it. Oh, I forgot to put Yu Gi Oh on here because I watched that a little bit. Oh, and Pokemon. But those shows are like kind of kiddie. Yu Yu Hakusho is like right there in the middle where it's kind of like kiddie and adult slash, you know, teenage show. So um, I would say good. I like Yu Yu Hakusho, but I just haven't really dove deep into it as an adult. As a kid, I watched it here and there. But yeah, that's my list. Let me see. My Hero Academia at the top. Yep, that's that's just about right. <laughs> and uh, yeah. So yeah, that's pretty much it. If you enjoyed my tier list, head down to the comments. Let me know what you enjoyed about it, what you really didn't agree with with me. Uh, what do I need to watch more of? What do I need to watch next? I have, I'm right in the middle of Cowboy Bebop and I am watching that adamantly. But after that, I'm going to watch Jujutsu Heisen, I think it's called. And because I hear that that's an amazing show and I want to watch Code Geass as well. But anything else, just let me know like down in the comments what I need to watch. I heard Fruits Basket is pretty good. And, you know, there's some new anime out there that I don't know about. So head down to the comments. Let me know what I need to watch next. Follow me on social media, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, Letterboxd, AJ Reacts to all across the board. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.